Just occasionally I get a gun put in my hand and I just love it, right from the get-go. Today's review was one of those guns, but the question really is, does size matter? Hello and welcome to AAR on Air. Today it's the turn of the Sig Sauer P365. If it is possible to have a gun that would be classed as cute, then this would be the one. Let's take a walk around, shall we? But we won't need to go too far to get round this one. It is only 145 millimetres or five and three quarter inches long and weighs in at 363 grams or 0.8 of a pound. Blimey, the barrel is only three and a quarter inches. This is the 12 round 4.5 millimeter BB replica of the original 9 millimeter that was first designed in 2017 and first saw production in 2018 and is still being made today. This one, however, is the 12 gram CO2 powered and semi automatic with blowback too all for about £139 UK retail. It is all black with a metal top slide and polymer bottom and grip. There is even a rail for lasers on the underneath of the barrel just in front of the trigger. This has fixed and open sights, front and rear, with the fronts incorporating the green dot as per the original 9mm, complete with rear white dots. The grip is very grippy and of course a little short as is the style of this little self-defense item. The grip holds the dropout 12 round magazine incorporating the 12 gram CO2 cylinder and is released by pressing the triangular button on the left hand side of the grip. There is an ambidextrous safety at the back which can easily be operated with your thumb. Believe it or not, this is even field strippable using the catch on the side. It is blowback and the original was classed as short blowback and this replica even locks open after last shot. There are no nasty bright labels all over the thing to spoil the look but it does carry the Sig Sauer branding on either side of the grip with P365 embossed on the top slide. Apart from the shortness of the grip, you forget just how small this is when you use it. Loading is very easy, simply drop in the CO2, tighten the bottom with the supplied 6mm hex key. But please don't over tighten, it will reduce the lifespan if you do. To load the BBs of your choice, simply pull back on the spring, lock into place, and then pull down the lever at the top and simply drop in the BBs. When you're loaded, release the top catch, release the spring, and you're all ready. Power then, well, they claim up to 295 feet per second. So, out with a chrono to put that to the test. Standard steel PBs first then. They saw a maximum of 287 feet per second, 
which with 5.37 grain BBs is 0.98 foot pounds or 1.33 joules. Let's try the ultralight plastic 4.5 millimeter BBs next, shall we? They saw 413 feet per second, which is well above the claim figure. And finally, I tried the Dust Devils to see if it was happy with them. And yes, it was. And it even spat them out at over 300 feet per second. Let's get the old barn door out, shall we, and see if we can hit it. Usual 10 metre indoor range open sights. Here goes. Well, with the barn door coming, you could probably tell I wasn't expecting an awful lot from this little darling, but I was pleasantly surprised. It isn't a target gun by any stretch of the imagination, but it is perfectly capable of some fun plinking and will certainly be up to that task. This is fun and of course that's what it's meant to be as i've said not a competition target gun or go out and hunt with tool so does size matter well in this case it makes you smile when you see it and when you use it the build quality is great it comes with BBs to get you started, and I think it's really good value. All this in such a small, compact package. I must say, I don't want one of these. I need one of these, as my daughter used to say. Be careful, if you see one of these in the shops, you will want to buy it. Right, I'm off to play with this again. Don't forget, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, alarm bell, share, wash behind your ears, put the bin out and set the alarm for morning. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>